How can you turn complex ideas into user-friendly products without feeling overwhelmed? That's exactly what we will cover in this video. Imagine if you could visualize your user journey in a simple and clear and understandable way for everyone on your team. Welcome to the world of storyboards. Storyboards are one of the most interesting way to express user requirements so that everyone involved in the product development can understand them. They provide a clear, visual narrative that makes complex ideas more accessible. Product developers love storyboards because they provide a clear visual map of the steps users take, making it easier to plan and design the user experience or workflow. They help teams visualize the process, understand user interactions, and identify potential issues or improvements. They are used across various industries like software development, marketing, education, and even healthcare. They help teams visualize workflows, design user experience, and streamline process. So whether you are in a traditional office or working remotely, storyboards bridge the gap between concepts and execution. In Scrum environment, storyboards can be incredibly effective. Using sprint boards in the Scrum can add some overhead, but the time required can be managed effectively. So use them during sprint planning to visualize user stories and workflows. Allocate a few minutes to sketch up or update the storyboard, just enough to ensure everyone is aligned. Typically, each user story will need several pictures to represent key steps, maybe three to five depending on complexity. And then during sprint reviews, storyboards can demonstrate how features are intended to work and facilitate feedback. So they provide, as I said before, visual narrative that stakeholders can easily understand and comment on. Now, you might be wondering how many pictures per functionality or user story are needed. Well, the level of detail and the number of pictures depend on the complexity of the user story or feature. It's common to create a storyboard for each user story, especially if the user story involves multiple steps or interactions. This helps in visualizing the entire flow from the user's perspective. And usually, each key step or interaction is uh, in the user story is represented by one picture. For example, if a user story involves logging in, navigating to a dashboard and then performing an action, you might have uh, three pictures. For larger features that encompasses multiple user stories, you might have a higher level storyboard summarizing the entire feature. Individual tasks might not need their own storyboards unless they represent distinct, usual, visible actions. Throughout the sprint, update the storyboards can be part of your daily stand-up or handled as needed when significant changes occur. This ensures that everyone remains on the same page literally. And there are many tools you can use, like Miro and Mural. They offer dynamic digital whiteboards where teams can collaborate in real time no matter where they are. These tools are perfect for visualizing workflows and capturing ideas during brainstorming sessions. For more detailed and polished storyboards, try Figma or Adobe XD. These tools help you create high-fidelity mockups that can be easily shared and reviewed. I need something straightforward and familiar? PowerPoint and Keynote lets you create and organize storyboard slides easily, perfect for presentations and quick iterations. Ready to transform your product development process? Learn more about gathering and expressing user requirements. Click the link below to get started. Thank you for watching.